Have you ever generated an image that looks stunning, but then notice the hands just don't look right? In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a quick and easy method to fix deformed hands in existing AI generated images. Watch this video till the end because I have a trick to share with you that will ensure you never face this issue again in your future AI generated images. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Before we start, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's aim for 200 likes to beat the algorithm. Let's get started. First things first, you need to install DW Open Pose. It's an enhanced version of the Open Pose processor that really steps up your game. You can easily install it from the extension tab using this GitHub link. When the extension is installed, remember to restart your web UI afterwards. So it pops up in the processor drop down menu in your control net window. Okay, so we've got this image generated with the epic realism checkpoint. It looks fantastic, but the hands aren't quite right. Don't worry, we can fix that. First, reopen the checkpoint model you used for the original image. Now head over to the in painting section and load your image. We need to mask not just the hand, but also a small area around it. Next for the settings, I'm going to increase the mask padding just a bit for better blending. Keep the image dimensions the same as your original image. For the sampling method, we're using the DPM plus plus SDE Keras. And don't forget a high CFG setting of 0.9. Next up, bring your image into control net. This is where we use DW open pose. Click the preview button. You'll notice that DW Open Pose cleverly fixes the hand positioning. Also make sure to select Control Net is more important for this step. Don't forget to write in the positive prompt to describe only the masked area in the image. For our case, a woman's hand on a wooden table. And now let's generate the image and see the result. Take a look at our first generation. The hand is looking so much better already. We've managed to get rid of that awkward deformation, which is fantastic. But we can still take it up a notch, especially with the nails to make them look more natural. For this fine tuning, you can use your preferred image editing software. I'm gonna use Photoshop. Here's a little tip. Use a brush tool with a tiny one pixel size. This lets you get really detailed and fix those nails as precisely as possible. Once we're happy with the touch up, the next step is to upscale the image. This is what's going to make it truly stunning. Here's our final result. We've successfully fixed the hand issue and it looks way better than the original. Now let's move on to how you can prevent getting bad hands in your AI generated images right from the start. This image was generated using the prompt, a photo of a beautiful girl holding a Christmas gift box in a snowy alley. I absolutely loved the image and thought it would make the perfect thumbnail, but there was one issue the hands. They were oddly deformed, and there was even an extra finger. So let me show you how to prevent this from happening right from the start. First, load your image into the control net window. We'll use DW Open Pose and download the Open Pose preview image. This is where Photoshop comes in handy. We can fine tune the Open Pose hand gestures for even more precision. I'm going to adjust the thumbs to ensure they don't look too long and also slightly reduce the size of the fingers. Next, I'm changing the image size to a square dimension of 1024 by 1024 pixels. Back in control net, load your open pose. It's crucial to set the processor to none and select only the open pose model. For the dimensions, I'm using 512 by 512 with a high res fix. With these adjustments, when you generate your images, you'll get nice, natural looking hands. 
no extra fingers or weird deformations. And that's the secret to creating amazing images without major hand issues right from the start. That's it for today. I wish you all a very happy new year. As always, if you want to support the channel, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. See you soon.